Good morning, everyone, and happy Memorial Day. I hope everyone is having a great weekend. So glad to have the day off. I just finished putting all of my stuff away from the three-day crop that I went on, and I had a fabulous time. And I just want to show you some cards that I made, and I altered some uh, clothespins. And um, we had a just a bunch of fun. This Hobby Hideaway place is located in here in Seattle, uh, Washington, in Bothell, Washington, very close to my house, less than three miles. So it worked out really great for me. So um, Debbie was our host, and um, when we got there, we had the five-foot table with the art light and trash can and all those goodies. And one thing that she always, every host does is they... Um, put a little name tag so you'll know where to sit at. And I always take mine and hang them on the wall. I have several on my wall. And I put the date of the crop, and then I just kind of add it to my wall as a decoration to help me remember about the crops that I've gone on. So when we got there, in our bedrooms, there's twin beds, um, were um, these flags for Memorial Day. The um, host had given us a pair of footies because the owner likes uh, people to walk uh, in the home with no shoes on. And there were two chocolate kisses. Those were on the bed, so I thought that was so great. And then the host uh, is a uh, Close to My Heart demonstrator. Her name is Debbie. Hi, Debbie. And she taught a class Saturday afternoon from the latest um, workshops on the go by Close to My Heart called The Buzz and Bumble. So here is the uh, scrapbooking guide, and it was all the papers included with the embellishment. And this is a layout that we worked on. It's a two-page spread. And, of course, no one uh, brings any pictures, but you can certainly um, change it up how you like, or we followed along and just did it, and then you can kind of add your pictures to it as you see fit. Very, very easy, very beautiful. And then Debbie also gave us these um, craft containers. Let me find them here to uh, create these here and you use the scraps from the layout. So I didn't do mine yet because I think I want to alter it with another paper. So that was really nice. She's a great hostess. Thank you, Debbie. We had a fabulous time. So I want to show you girls and guys some of the cards that I made. Now I um, made a bunch of thank you cards because the um, co-worker that recently gave me a bunch of goodies, she was getting rid of stuff. She um, had said to me, because I offered to pay her, and she said, no, no, no. She said, just make me a couple of thank you cards. So that's what I did. I made a couple of thank you cards. I made a set for myself and a set for her. So the first uh, card that I made was from this uh, paper pad on the bright side, too, by My Mind's Eye. You can see I hardly have any left. <laughs> and I used the uh, famous uh, bird that was given to me by Marcy with a felt gold M which I love, and I included one of my most recent charms that I made using the Sew and Bobbin, the Fun Fur, a Flower, a Charm, and a Spray. I just saw that being used on this bird, so let me show you what I came up with. Here's the first one, and you've kind of seen the style before. Um, the bird is stamped with a script stamp. I have a Michael's crown. I have some recollection trim here, and there is the... Um, bobbin with the spray and I used two flowers here and this is from a um, swap that I did with Anna Yana. She had given me a bunch of these little bitty flowers so it worked out perfect to use those. And then at the bottom I just used a rub-on. Thank you uh, rub-on. These are by Kaiser Craft. I think I purchased these many many years ago because the scrapbook store that I got them from is closed down. So you can see I totally used all the ones on the bottom. So that was easy, easy to do. And then on the inside, I just did a circle with the Spellbinder die and some background paper. So that's the first one. And again, the second one, either for myself or I'll give this to her. Same thing, the Michaels um, crown. The bird has a um, flatback pearl in his eye. Here's another spray with white, um, another charm with the white spray, white flower, white fun fur, two of the flowers from Anayanis. And again, some of the cute trim from Michael's and the banner here that says thank you. And on the inside, cut out so she can write her sentiment. So those were made with that paper pad. Then I pulled out a paper pad that I haven't used in a long time. 
or probably haven't used it until this weekend. And this is the Gingham paper pad. Um, can't even tell you who it's by. Oh, e Create Imagine. Imaginations. So it's totally all gingham. You know, the larger on the left and the smaller checks on the right. Many um, colors. So with this paper pad, I created two cards. And I have to tell you, I, I take my box of cards, corrugated cards from Michaels, you know, these here. So I just took the whole box. And when I open up the box, it had just a few corrugated cards and the rest were envelopes. So I actually have ran out of corrugated cards. So many of these are used with the envelopes, which you've seen me do before and it worked out just as fine. So here are the two I made um, using some uh, bling trim here and some of the gingham paper. And then I just had a beige background paper here with some um, sentiments on it. Um, I use a spellbinder die to cut that circle out with some paper similar to the colors. And then I just have some of the crinkle ribbon here, a um, flower doily, and a glass button. And on the back, um, I just kind of decorated it with the paper, some more of the uh, another circle cut. And these are some stick, um, some flower um, stickers that were given to me by Marla. Um, Marla G in a uh, giveaway and then a little Webster's Pager sticker here now what I thought I would do is and I might still is just kind of put some lace around the edge here so I still have some time because I'm not giving these to her until this week and then the second one I use some of the purple gingham paper and basically the same way some um, some trim the word thanks and a flower here that I created using some purple um, sh um, wrinkle ribbon here. Um, just really cute and on the back kind of the same thing. And on the inside I put a journal tag, uh, um, you know, a little card from Webster's Pages and I'm going to put a paper clip. I didn't bring my paper clips but I'm going to put a color paper clip there so she'll be able to see and write the sentiment to her friend. Now the next paper pad I use for the next cards were are from this and that collection and it's the this and that graceful so again paper pads getting real small but I'm glad that I am going through them so here is these two here again they look like they feel like they're from the envelope um, one is with the corrugated card and the other is with an envelope so here it is it says many thanks and I used a Cricut cartridge jasmine to cut this out there was a Cricut cartridge there with many, um, Cricut machine with many cartridges, so I just took advantage. So I used a button here. I just did two um, pieces of uh, paper, and I used a punch to do the scallop punch around the edge. And a crochet doily from the dollar store. And I used some of these creamy heart trims from Michaels with some Webster's Pages ruffles. And then I just did a heart with these um, beads. Um, trims back here, the bead strands, and then it comes out on that side there. And of course, again, the paper is from the this and that. And then on the inside, I just put you are so thoughtful with one of those um, rub ons. So again, that's this one. The second one is a duplicate. Same thing, but it's made with the uh, envelope. So I just used some of the solid color paper, Webster's Pages sticker, and then down here too it says, if you need to be happy, I'll be your smile. So that was the two made with that paper pad. The next two I pulled out a paper pad, the Lost and Found Sunshine uh, collection, beautiful, got the golds and browns and mustards. So these two also are made with the envelope. Um, the background is just uh, salt, one sheet, just background, and I made this um, flower here. I'll show you. I pulled out the, um, the not the fabric, but I purchased it. Oh, see, I end up putting everything away, girls. I don't even know. I looks like I put it away. Um, so I made that flower. I just, um, you know, did the single stitch around it, pulled it in a circular shape, and just um, hot glued it on. And behind here is a chipboard piece from Michaels. 
the uh, corrugate the uh, craft color. I cut out a spell binder die and then I um, rubbed on the words thank you. Here is some brown and white twine. I have a uh, cute little acrylic flower from Craft Supplies 1 and then I made this stick pin here. And it's funny because right here in the corner with the bird it says too cute. So and it is too cute. And on the back some of the paper I thought was really pretty and then a little sticker here says the little thing. And on the inside too there is a journal card tag that she can write the sentiment on too. If I don't lose it on the floor. And the second one, same exact, and it looks like it's on an envelope too. Same exact thing. I just put the acrylic flower on the bottom here. So, and then this sticker says, uh, today was a great day. So they were fun to make, you know, you're talking and doing all this stuff, so I'm surprised I got this many done. And then the last set were from the uh, Bramble Rose, which I love. There's just lots of little pieces in here, and um, I use those to cover my um, clothespins, and I'll show you that. Now these two were made with the corrugated card. It seems like I had a few left. So here is the thank you card. I started out with some solid color pink that's distressed in the background and then the pattern paper on top and then I used the doily. These cute little flowers were given to me by um, Tammy Craft Supplies, uh, excuse me, Tammy is with SS Crafters 1 and um, on the center here is a spellbinder die, kind of a smaller doily. I used some um, some bling there. I cut out a banner and did the um, rub-on word that says thanks. And then I used one of those uh, cute little um, words. You've seen them. I probably all have them here. That says special, so it says special thanks. And a um, flower here from um, Wild Orchid Crafts. There is a uh, little rose here, and this little flower in the back has that music paper. is from uh, Michael's, and then the Michael's trim, and then the Hobby Lobby um, tool at the bottom, and then a feather just I had in my stash. So on the inside, again, you are so thoughtful. I just kind of cut the edge of this paper with the scallop. I just love this wood grain style of this paper pad. It's absolutely beautiful. And then the second one is a little different. Uh, the flower is a little bit different. This is a handmade flower that I made with a doily and a flatback pearl. And again, this little cute little um, flower here with the pink center was given to me by uh, Tammy. And I use, again, music note paper flower in the background with the pink tool and the hob uh, Recollections um, white trim here. And then I just use some of these little uh, pearls instead of the flowers. And then on the inside, the same thing, you are so thoughtful. So it was so much fun to make these and to know that someone will be very happy with them. And then with the scraps of paper from the Bramble Rose and the other collection, I made these um, altered um, clothespins. And I'm not finished altering them because I didn't have my whole punch um, that I use. So I'm going to uh, really alter these up. I was watching Lydia's channel. She did some that were adorable. So I'm just going to pull out a bunch of items and see how I can uh, make these just really pop. So I um, used the um, Mod Podge on these and they have a kind of a sheen. It's the glossy Mod Podge. But I wanted to use the wood grain paper because, you know, with clothes pins it kind of goes hand in hand. So it was really cute. These are the uh, paper clips, I mean the clothespins that you get from Michael, from uh, Target. And this is all I have. And every time I go to Target, I look for them because I like them because they're really big size. And um, I, yeah, that was the last two packs that I had. So that's kind of what I did this weekend, you know, and I just had a wonderful time. I t took some things to make stick pins. I didn't get a chance to make those. I mean, these cards just take, you know, talking and eating and thinking and talking and next thing you know, two hours later and you're halfway done with the card. So it was that kind of week, but it was a fun week. So I miss you guys and I'm doing today, I'm just looking at your videos, trying to get caught up. 
and I do have some other projects that I want to get going with. I have a swap that I'm going to be um, mailing out on Friday, and I have some racks that I'll be mailing out on Friday. So it's been a good week. I hope everyone is having a great day, and thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye now.